It's very clear. Our love is here to stay. Together we're going a long, long way. Hi, welcome to Curtain Call. I'm Hetty Weiss, theater and dance critic for the Chicago Sun-Times, and today I have two very talented gentlemen with me. One is, I will introduce him first, only because he's really well known in Chicago, Hershey Felder, the actor, pianist, writer, director, producer, man of all trades, uh, and he is directing and writing a play about Jack Lemmon for Jack Lemmon's son, Chris Lemon. And so they are both here with a new show, Jack Lemon Returns. Chris, welcome. Hershey, welcome. Lovely to be here. Thank you. And just tell me a little bit about what this show is. Well, basically, it's, it's a, a wonderfully unique, yet in so many ways, universal father-son story. Uh, but also a wonderful kind of uh, reminiscence back to the golden age of Hollywood, that wonderful era that just doesn't exist anymore. And uh, so hopefully not only are we uh, telling this wonderful story of a father and a son that encompasses so much from, uh, th there's so many other uh, people in, in social stratas across the, the uh, spectrum that have a very similar story, uh, but also you're getting that kind of unique aspect of this crazy world that I grew up in and that I walk through, you know, sort of wide-eyed and innocently. There's and we should remind people about some of the films that your dad did make because they really are kind of the, the landmark films of the period. Well, we run, run through all of them through the course of the play, uh, or, or the majority of them, and they, it really was, he was a very prolific actor, but he was also very varied. He was able to do things, everything from Some Like It Hot to Save the Tiger, uh, uh, from uh, uh, Mr. Roberts to The Apartment, which is one of my favorites. Days of Wine and Roses. Uh, Days of Wine and Roses. And, uh, and the list, Glengarry Glen Ross. Uh, Glengarry Glen Ross, uh, the list mm -hmm. does go on. Yes. It does, uh, it Grumpy really... old men. Which is what we are. Yes, yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> So, Hershey, you are known for this really self-created blend of theater, storytelling, and uh, music. And since both of you play piano and both of you act, um, what is that, what have you found is the magic and how does it work in this show? Well, I think as with the other shows, at some point there has to be a realization that the person that we're watching on stage is the person who they say they are. Well, in the case of Chris, We've got the result of his father, this man who was his teacher, his father, his best friend, the person who really gave him life on very many levels, both as an artist and as a human being. We're looking at the result of what that is. So it's, it's not false, it's not made up. There is actually something active within the theatrical experience that allows us to believe. And there's something about the humanity in that, the simple humanity in just being a part of that experience and connecting to other people that seems to work in these pieces. I don't know that I have the methodology that works each time, but when I don't, I discard it and start again. But there was something so, I mean, I'm sitting here on the stage and we've got projections of his father behind us and your face, this with, it's creepy to say the least. It's the well, same face. Well, you would not face. doubt that this was the son of Jack Lemmon, I told. I which told is, which is remarkable, but it's also the spirit comes through. And I guess for me, it's that connection of this human spirit that continues on. Now, when was the first time you realized really who your father was and that he was a star? Oh, I, I, I can actually answer that uh, very specifically. The, uh, it, it, you, you don't understand who your parent is, no matter how large they are, because that is your only experience. But there was one day, I was in second grade, something like that, and I'm playing in, 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 in the school play yard, and some kid walked up to me, he goes, uh, my dad's a bigger star than your dad. And I said, why, well, yeah, really? He says, yeah, my dad acts, acts Jim West in the wild, wild west. I said, well, you're darn right he's a bigger star than my dad. He's Jim West, isn't he? And then as the kid was walking away, I remember saying to myself, I didn't know my dad was a star. I thought he was just an actor. It's kind of a chronological um, look at your dad. Uh, and it is infused with the music that you played together or that he played on his own. It's, well, one of the things that we found with uh, our producer and, and sound designer, Eric Carsonson, is the uh, Twist of Lemon, which is an album that Jack released, 
you know, in a very, right after Some Like It Hot, so it was in the 50s, I think 59 or something like that. Very jazz oriented, very period, you know, you sort of feel the smoking going on. And he's playing and he's doing the vocals on it. And so we looked at that and looked at the things that he was doing. It's Sinatra-esque, except musical in the sense that he... And I said, why don't we sort of dig into that and see what we can find there and base our musical experience on that. But then looking at what Chris experienced with his father, in terms of something that appears in the show that Shirley MacLaine has to say is that, in fact, uh, Jack Lemmon's heroes were the Gershwin brothers. And he wanted very much so to be the next Gershwin. And as Shirley MacLaine says, thank God no one would give him a job doing that. <laughs> and so we dug into the treasure trove of music, which is America's Trevor treasure trove. It's not so complicated to find stuff. And stuff that related to Chris. And as you know from the shows that you've seen over the years with me, if it's not um, directed by the emotional content or the emotional drive of the show, it's not something that we can do. So then it's a matter of trial and error and seeing what actually works within mm -hmm. the context of the show and what doesn't. At what point did you say, hmm, I'm going to do what my dad does, I'm going to be an actor? You know, it was kind of a knee-jerk reaction. Uh, I came out of music school and I realized how specialized that field had become. And I, I really gave it a hard look and I said, do I have the chops to do this? And the answer was, I don't think so. Um, uh, I'm pretty good, but it's a, bit, it's a little bit of a level above there. And uh, so I thought, uh, well, what the heck am I going to do? Well, in the meantime, I had been working pretty much nonstop as an actor throughout my senior year at uh, California Institute of the Arts. And it's, you know, just, just kept on, you know, you got to pay the bills, don't right. you? What would Dr. Freud say about a son playing his own father? Good luck. <laughs> or no, actually, he would say good luck. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a tough thing to do or is, is there something um, strangely rewarding about it or? Well, you know, you, you, have, you have a time limit on this, right? Because we lemons do a half hour on hello, and you've just asked me a pretty big question. It was a big um, question. And I'll try to make a concise answer. Uh, it's, it's um, yes, of course it is. I mean, I'm digging into a, a very emotional chest here, uh, and there's all sorts of stuff going on inside that chest. Uh, but the thing that I find most rewarding is maybe the thing that's most important uh, that I can, uh, can answer uh, that question with is that my father wasn't just my father. My father was truly my very best friend, and I miss him very, very much. And this story exists because of that missing of him. And for 90 minutes every night, I get a chance to have him next to me again. So it's enor enormously rewarding. Thank you, Hershey Felder, and thank you, Chris Lemon. Thanks so much for having and us. And thank you for watching Curtain Call. Gibraltar may tumble. They're only made of clay, but our love is here to stay.